Welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and many of you guys have probably heard by now that D Hacker and Hashcode have developed CyanogenMod 9 and AOKP Nightlies for the Droid Bionic that's running on the ice cream sandwich leak. So last week I showed you guys how to get to the ice cream sandwich leak. Uh, if you follow my guide, then you are on ice cream sandwich and you're already ready to install CyanogenMod 9 for the ice cream sandwich leak. Now. What's so special about it being on the ice cream sandwich leak? Well, now everything works. Um, now that source is included, your camera functionality works, your video recording works. So if we go into camera, we'll be able to snap a picture and we should be able to record a video without anything forced closing. And we can see there we're recording video. <clears throat> and then let's see. Front facing camera works. So that works perfectly. Uh, high definition videos on YouTube should also be working now without a hitch. It does come with Wi Fi tether, it comes with the Bluetooth SCO app and also the Apollo Music app, as well as DSP Manager um, and DevTools. If we go into the settings, you have your launcher settings, and this is just the regular Trebuchet launcher. So you guys have seen this before. I'm sure most of you guys have seen this before. If you go into home screen, you can change your transition effect, which is first thing I always do to cube out, and several other things that you can change there. I won't dive too far into the launcher settings, lock screen. Uh, you can change the weather, and you can have calendar. So you can change your background. Uh, you can change your slider shortcuts, so choose any position and then you can put like a custom app there. Um, so just click it to edit and then choose your application, select OK and then save. And now whenever you open up your phone, that is there now. Let's see, also you have themes. So any Cyanogen Mod 9 style theme for the theme chooser will work on this build as well. You just apply those by hitting apply. If you go into system, you have a few settings here that you can change. Status bar, uh, you can change your clock style, you can change your battery style, and also your signal style. And you can change your notification drawer, so like your pull down notifications here. You can have power widgets, uh, you can choose to hide those, and also you can choose what widget buttons you want to include. And it does include the LTE toggle, and pretty much anything that you can think of. It has the brightness modes that you can choose from there as well. Uh, so not a ton of customization, but enough customization. Uh, the thing runs very fast because it is on the official, unofficial leak. So it's on ice cream sandwich leak, so it's running incredibly fast. We got about phone, so settings and about phone. You'll see that it is Android version 4.0.4. And the Cyanogen Mod version is the latest, a 705 unofficial for the Bionic. And <clears throat> the build number is ICS Beta IMM 7, I'm uh, 67, I'm sorry. And then the kernel version there, uh, just the stock Android kernel as well. So this thing is running flawlessly. Uh, with it being on the official ice cream sandwich leak, things that weren't working, like your data, if you're having issues with your data or your Bluetooth, uh, or a lot of you were having issues with your camera, those have all been fixed now that it's on the official ice cream sandwich leak. So like I said, you have dhacker and hash code to thank for that. Um, of course, you do have a reboot menu as well that's included, and you have signage and mod wallpapers, which are also included there. So plenty to choose from. So that is Cyanogen Mod on the Ice Cream Sandwich Leak. So now I'm going to show you guys how to install it. Like I said, you need to already be on the Ice Cream Sandwich Leak, so .2231 or uh, newer. And then you have to have the safe strap installed on your phone. So for me, the, the recovery is already installed. It's an application. You can go to the link in the description, download the application. Uh, you'll open up the application and click Install Recovery. Once you've done that, the recovery will be installed on your phone. Uh, from there, you'll just power down your device, and then you'll power it back up. So we're just going to quickly go through the install guide. Uh, you should 
only install this via SafeStrap 2.0. <clears throat> so go ahead and power back the, the phone up. And before it boots up, it'll ask you if you want to boot into recovery. At that point, you'll hit the menu button. You only have 10 seconds to do it. So here you'll press the menu button. <clears throat> and now you should boot into Clockwork Mod Recovery. So the first time you boot into Clockwork Mod Recovery, let's get in a little closer so you guys can see what we're doing here. Let's see. Okay, the very first time it'll say safe system disabled. Uh, so what you'll want to do before you do anything is go to backup and restore and then click backup and then do your backup to your internal SD card or either your external SD card, whichever one you have more space available on. And then the very next thing you'll do is go to safe boot menu and you'll toggle safe system. That's going to enable your safe system so that you can install CyanogenMod 9. Once that's enabled it will probably take about five minutes to enable you'll go back and being sure that it says safe system is enabled you'll go to uh, wipe data factory reset select yes and then go back then you go to install zip from SD card choose zip from SD card internal SD card it should be on your download folder if you downloaded it directly to your phone and then you're looking for ICS leak CM9 now your version may be different depending on the day that you download it. Uh, for me it was uh, July 5th, so that's the version that I'm on. You'll go ahead and install that. It takes about five minutes to install. Then you'll go back and go back again. Go back one more time and reboot system now. And that will reboot your phone. So we will leave this video with the boot animation. Of course the CyanogenMod 9 boot animation is one of the coolest that I've ever seen. And here you can just skip this by clicking the search button. So guys, that has been CyanogenMod 9 for the Droid Bionic on the ICS leak. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe by clicking the button there. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Leave comments below. Have you tried CyanogenMod 9? Uh, what has been your experience with it? Um, aren't you glad for developers like DHacker and Hashcodev that are keeping the Bionic uh, in the forefront? Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. And thanks guys for watching. See you in the next one.